CMD boxing reports Ronell Higg reporting here and I am back at it for the boxing fanatics so damn man you know what a fight you know at first I really wasn't interested in this fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao and Adrian Broner however I found out that Bobby Jack and Marcus Brown will be on the undercard now this right here is like one of the reasons why I chose to watch the fight okay now normally i do a live stream but but really i'm under the weather right now so i really can't be like yapping off that long right and like during the fight i had to like catch myself because i was like dozing off all right you know i am under the weather but it was a good fight now uh watching the badu jack versus uh marcus brown now i already knows that you know uh, Badu Jack he's a slow starter and everything so uh, I don't know I was thinking well you know down the stretch you know this fight is going to get interesting however uh, before that happened Badu Jack has suffered a vicious cut in the middle of his forehead I mean blood was everywhere so I'm like man you know they must want to stop this fight you know I mean his whole entire face the referee uh i think was, who is his name ronnie shields i think yeah he was all covered in blood you know on his shirt and uh marcus brown he had blood on all on his back and some of the blood was on his forehead it looked like marcus brown was bleeding but nah that was Badu jack i mean it was a hot mess i mean really they should have stopped that fight all right because like going down the stretch uh marcus brown had threw that uppercut and he made the cut on the forehead even worse all right i mean yo it was a hot mess i think that fight should have been stopped i mean hey you know this is boxing and dude you know i guess i'm talking about bobby jack here he wanted something amazing to happen and uh his corner they wasn't really doing any good with giving him uh like great instructions and whatnot i mean they was trying to get marcus brown uh disqualified no i'm like damn what is this now moving on with the uh fight with manny pacquiao and uh adrian broner yeah okay you know it, uh broner he you know he had performed way better you know in this fight than what he did against uh the other pressure uh fighter the guy who pressured him and that was mikey garcia I mean, uh, Broner, you know, he let his hands go a little bit more. He was doing, you know, a lot of countering. And, you know, the commentators, I mean, my goodness, these jokers was just, you know, oh, Manny Pacquiao this, Manny Pacquiao that. I mean, it was, you know, like going down the stretch, you know, Broner, they did give him praise for some of the things that he was doing. But most of the time, it was Manny Pacquiao. And when, like, Broner would be up against the ropes and Manny Pacquiao be well in the way, not all those punches was landing now i'm not trying to say manny pacquiao did not deserve this decision because he did you know i, I think he did but um it, it was just that you know the same thing that happened on hbo how they used to like give praise to manny pacquiao when he just throw punches even if the punch missed oh manny pacquiao just landed a hard right hand and the punch didn't even land well the same thing happened here you know on uh this showtime pay-per-view so hey they just hype men okay these commentators and uh that's what they're gonna do however you know at the end adrian broner swore he won you know i i guess uh he was playing uh who was that guy tony harrison you know he i thought he'll you know he must have thought that he'll get the same treatment he got against uh jermel charlo and whatnot because adrian broner look at the end of the fight he didn't look all busted up you know like we all knows how many pacquiao's uh victims look okay i mean they look hurt at the end of, of every fight you know what i mean i mean just like jeff horn i mean jeff horn face was a hot mess um uh lucas matisse you know he you know was suffering some swelling before he got knocked out but adrian broner man he, hey he didn't look busted up at all okay so that goes to show not all them punches was landing all right but all the way around man what another great night of boxing and that's my take on this cmd boxing reports and i'll catch you on the next one